stores would be moved to the southeast plaza building. Okay, it's just west of the main entrance to the southeast plaza building. How far about the grade? Uh, that is grade level. Right at the right at the right. That is a grade. Those grade about 332. directly to Jason. Pictures 13 and 14 are mechanical room, southeast corner. This is the exhaust air funnel. Yeah, 
up in the southeast room here. Yeah, this is the mechanical equipment room for the southeast quad room. Let me show you the one for the north. So try to stay out of the roadway as much as possible. Northeast, southeast truck dock. Here we are. This is what I want you to get on there. This is this, you know, this is uh, it's basically the same layout that you had upstairs. Yeah, except it doesn't trim off the corners. Right. Well, so yeah, which which uh, you know, uh, the, 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 well, for those who know the building, it's fine. For those who don't, yeah. uh, that's, that's the and what, uh, uh, these are these are just uh, guiding people on where to make deliveries. They have nothing no, to do with the HVAC system. No, no, but it does represent the different corridors that are. And it shows how Alexander's originally was. This is how uh, this is how Alexander's was. Right now, they have a corridor uh -huh. that goes straight through here, uh -huh. yeah. which we walked down. And also, down. the corridor go right straight through. Ooh. Yes, goes through this area also. So the car now, there's an entrance that goes straight through right here. And the Vista's out there about where the North Arrow is, right? The Vista well, is located just approximately here. Yes. Yeah. Vista Hotel. And where is South East and North East Club? Uh, Here's North. Well, the South East, the split, let me take it from One World Trade Center. This approximately, where you see the BMT subway, uh, is the split between the northeast and the southeast plaza buildings. If you were up on the concourse level, you would see a black granite mm -hmm. sculpture at this area. If you walk straight down, right around by the big kitchen here, which is now the Gap, this is the Gap store, the sculpture fountain is approximately in this area. So the northeast plaza building would be a building at this area, approximately to here, the southeast plaza building would be approximately to this area. That would be found for sales, right? Right. Based upon, you know, what right. would be above the concourse. Okay. Now, just to count around, here is one subway entrance. There's another one. Right there. That's right okay. here. And I believe there is one here right now. Yes, okay, and there then is. there's BMT, BMT over here. And this is the A, uh, the E train. Right. The 8th yeah. Avenue subway train. And there's there. your path. It doesn't show the one train. Right. right there. Okay, and then uh, we have entrance from here to the oh, hotel, yeah. here to the hotel, but there's another entrance to the hotel. Right here? No, no. What, uh, is that their this. service entrance? No, there is, a, there is an entrance here to the ballroom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, but the primary entrance to the hotel is the at the uh, south wall of One World Trade Center. Yeah. Yeah. Those are just two doors that go into the ballroom. And yeah. also the jet by Ben and Jerry. Uh, right. so what is so the mechanical room, room that we just yeah. visited? Okay, okay, hold on okay. a second. The mechanical equipment room, freight cars are around here. The mechanical equipment room is just around this area. This would be representative of the spill. fresh air intake fresh air and, spill. and the spill. And in the Northeast Plaza building, fresh air intake and the spill. It is another mechanical room, big one. It's another it's mechanical like equipment room, similar to the yeah. Southeast and the at this location. The units serving the lobby of these buildings are in those mechanical rooms? The areas servicing the concourse okay. or in the, the mechanical, the lobby? No, or the mechanical lobby. equipment rooms of the Northeast Plaza building and the Southeast Plaza building. The towers have a separate ventilation separate. system exclusively for the tower. Okay. And the Vistas exclusively for the Vistas. Vistas primarily exclusive for the Vista. It was always an exception. On the uh, B1 level, right, of the Vista, we do have garage areas that are common. There is an interface on the B1 level with the Vista and the subgrade as a whole. The subgrade area, though the B1 level, connects uh, through this path system, through this old path system, of One World Trade Center, Two World Trade Center, the Northeast Plaza Building, and the Southeast Plaza Building. You can travel to any one of the buildings through the subgrade at the B1 level. But then there's a door from here to the building. No. The building proper. No. We just walked 
from the southeast plaza building. Uh, the, we did pass through a door at that point. On the northeast plaza building, there isn't a door. There's a door to the mechanical equipment room, per se, right? And I believe there's a set of roll-up doors. I don't think the Vista has a door. I don't know. The Vista, uh, the, yes, there is a set of double doors to it. Is there? There's a set of flapping double doors, which we'll take a look at. In Customs House and the Custom, Financial Center. The Financial Center is on the other side. On west of, uh, this would be West Street. Uh, the Customs House would be located approximately... Yeah, stores. <laughs> this, this right See here. this big kitchen? See this area here? Right? This approximately starts the Customs property. Just where you see this division line. The Customs would be in this area. As I said before, once you cross that sub underground subway, on this side you order this okay, six level down below. Right? Uh, You'll have six sub-levels at the Trade Center itself. And also interconnect with the And you'll have an interconnect between one and two World Trade Center on the B2 level. You will also have an interconnect on the B5 level. On the B6 level, there is an interconnect. On the B4 level, Yeah, they're going to be full level as well. B5 does not interconnect. No. B4 does interconnect. Right. Now, structurally, these go all the way down. So B5 that, has passed. Yes. Yes. The same for the other building? No. 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 Those are going to go down B1. This, this, is, this is the as northeast as you get. and the southeast and the customs house. Uh, structurally, go down to the primarily to the B1 level. This is an exception. This old path terminal right where we're standing right now does, does have a sub-basement. There is another B2 level in this truck dock, which was the old path terminal. And that's that huge abandoned space that backed up against the Swiss bank wall? The west wall... West side? No. The north side of this truck dock has data port. Data port or teleport? No, data port. Data port. The south side is data No, we still generated there. We had that sand there. That was all That's all sealed off. Picture 17 will be uh, another picture of the diagram, very much the old diagram of the concourse. Yeah, now that we're hoping these are mine. Again, the same type of equipment. This is served half of the concourse area. It has air to fans, it has DCS fans, it has engineers that walk around, and it has uh, toilet doors fans. There are separate ventilation units that have been installed in public authorities that have been installed in this area. This building does not have a purge capability for the concourse, as I know.
force those two tunnels and bring it down into this area. Supplying from, from that MER. 
Right. This, so, I mean, this, this is a new area. This area, area. This is going to serve what area? The uh, sand goody, the old sand goody. The old sand goody area. And what also else? the fresh air supply of the third floor. And the fresh air supply for the third floor? To the third floor. Of the northeast. Right. Look at the camera. Okay, this is the path dome. 
And what we are intending to do here is a couple of things. First, we're going to put a three foot baffle un um, underneath the seating area there as a smoke trap. Three foot baffle? Three foot, something like 24 inch or whatever. And we want to maintain like a 7 foot 6 high clearance. And right underneath this dome, this is going to be redone. And what we allowed this area to be uh, to have is a exhaust opening here, which would allow 50,000 EFM of exhaust. 50,000. To, to, to exhaust from this area. And essentially, this is for uh, a 10 megawatt train fire underneath a track platform what did, level. What did you use to calculate the 50,000? 50,000 50, CFM is what I can get with the existing equipment. Because ah. I'm just tap tapping off from a, what we call a truck duct, the truck duct exhaust fan. What we're going to do is just go run the new duct work and connect to it with a damper and then exhaust out. So you expect the fire to occur down here? Right. And then we have nine of these uh, stairwells that open up this And we've been... Uh, uh, I doubt a 50,000 No, it's not going to do a whole lot. But the thing is that what we also have is that right now we have three fans. Uh, two of them on one side and one of them on the other side have a total of 180,000 CFM of exhaust from the two end of the platform. And however, they are not distributed very equally. There are two of them, uh, 150 and the other one is 25,000 CFM. On the 25,000 CFM side, I'm going to increase the, and then put in another 70,000 CFM on the south So you're going to have 50,000 here. How much that way? Uh, about 150 on each end of the platform, at the end of the platform. Then why do you, I, I, this is only a thought, right? And I'd have to take a look at it, but it sounds like this one's going to be fighting those ones. No, this, this is not going to activate until you get a smoke detector here. Until the smoke spill, this will only be on if the smoke which, cannot be captured. Which, which company are the one that's going to activate one? No, too bad. Uh, Rams, you can't suck air out the bottom. Of course not. But okay. you're sucking air out from through the tubes. But if you're going to go this way, it's okay, then, yeah. if you're going to have fans going this way, right. yeah. then this is the only source you right. have for yeah, the fire. Ahead. Right. This is only more of as a secondary containment. If you have smokes, if you cannot control the smoke because of the stack effect you have here, that the smoke is going to come straight out from here. You might get you down to a point where you want to exhaust the smoke, but this will not be automatically turned on until the smoke level is so high that we're going to turn this on. This, this is your uh, incidental spill. Exactly. They're hoping to control it. Right. I realize that, but I still feel the way they turn this one on to control the fast oh, no, they did before. Right. That's what, no, what we try to do, what we try, we try to accomplish is to attain a good amount of velocity uh, of air. You want to get an airflow through, this direction. Through the escalator and down here, so that when people eat rest You want to get that in series fresh, with these. Right. They have a fresh uh, piece. Which one? Up. With this one? No, not this one. Well, it'll be in series when you're at that arch. That's right. It'll all be pulling through that arch. Right. right. That's interesting. So, the whole idea is to provide fresh, uh, a stream of fresh air to the people leaving the station. Good ones. Those and one thing we want to do is that right now that that's a stairwell, there is nothing to flex in. We are going to, again, provide like a uh, tap of glass <laughs> skirt or baffle <laughs> around the stairs. Just to give you some additional uh, time That's to stay possible. Cool. And Where are the next stations? The next station is Boston River. Oh, this yeah. is the only station in Hudson. Yeah. So saying the way to get out of here is get on a train and go. It's a long run. Right, and also there's emergency stairways in the middle. But, uh, but they're pretty, but they're pretty small stairways. But anyway, besides those two fans at the ends, we also propose to have smoke exhaust fan at the at the uh, uh, piston relief shaft. Uh, at shaft. what shaft? The relief shaft. The projection. The projection. Can, can I just? Uh, yeah, uh, Mike has my or Dan has my paper. Yeah, just give me a some of Okay, it's like right now we have 102 fan at 70,000 CFM, so it's 140,000 CFM on this side, and then you have 25,000 CFM on this side. And what one thing we're going to do is to tap in here, 
adapt and tap into one of the exhaust, uh, garage exhaust fan and then try, uh, hopefully to pull another additional 70,000 CFM so you have something like 95,000 CFM here and 140,000 CFM here and the projection is somewhere around here there's two projections and we call it the north and south projection this is the north and this is the south and usually the train would just circle would go in just one direction and at the projection we are going to put a new fans on each that just uh, it's not going to it's going to probably block a point percent of the space of the existing opening of the existing shaft and each fan is 35,000 CFM and we are not quite sure at this point whether we are going to have them as a reversible or just exhaust. Most, Do you have most any idea on the curves? Uh, I know the peak. We are going to need something like four inches. We can we can get some sort of. Uh, of course, we're not supposed to work in this. Right. Area, no, no, no. I understand you what we have done on this area. But and we do have to worry back. about whether or not. Uh, you have smoke conditions swing out here. But no. this these fans would only be operating in the condition of a train fire, but not a fire in the concourse. No. So right now for the concourse, the only thing you have to worry about is that is that if everything worked accordingly, a train fire here would not have any smoke before for cleaning up the concourse. And we have done that CFD modeling done with the conditions. And we are going to do another series of CFD modeling to uh, look into this. Okay. Uh, so World Trade Center 5, this is the escalator that in effect connects the concourse level to the sixth floor. This is the plaza level as currently constructed. We're looking at World Trade Center 2 and then World Trade Center 4. This area represents new construction. Automatic releasing doors is a type that will be in all of the plaza level. Excuse me, all of the concourse level. Three plus sprinkler heads overhead. The fresh air intakes is Sam Goody. For this ventilation system, so those areas. I uh, see where that red uh, lighting is directly in front. Yeah. Okay. This is a set of this piece of ductwork. Here. This is uh, spill air from the Southeast Plaza building. This is fresh air I failed to mention Still on the air, northeast plaza building side, the southeast plaza building. Short cycle. It's had a few years. Right? Right? Right. right. We were getting it. Uh, and the would get uh, a higher intake temperature than the outside consistently. Five to six degrees. Because of the squirrel around the building. That's yes. the north side? No, that's on the northeast plaza building side, on the north wall. Okay. That would make sense because you're going to be right in the eddy from the normal wind pattern on the water. Okay, also on the spill plant is the exhaust at this point. Just leave it at this point. This general area is the exhaust of the subway ventilation smoke system that we were looking at now. And this is the makeup of the outside here. It's this next one down here. That's correct. This is the entrance to Four World Trade Center. Note the doors are weather stripped. Part of the Alexander's area. The discharge or the spill in this area is on not the third a bad floor. Set of plans here. Okay. Plaza level. From the plaza level behind the ice skating rink. Ah. This is uh, the number four level. That's now it's about. Nope. 
general layout of the World Trade Center complex. Looking at new construction by Tower 2. General layout. The concourse area. Note the automatic doors leading into World Trade Center 4 both remain open at the same time and allow for access to the outside. Also interfaces with this plaza level, where there is a spill fan located on the ninth floor of the southeast plaza level to take air from the second floor area, from the plaza area, and discharge it into the room. All, how, how that is interfacing with the master plan, I don't know. Spill fan nine. <coughs> Yes. Here we're looking at limited. Note the fuel load. Hallmark shop. Again, note the fuel load. This is the entrance to World Trade Center 2 from the concourse level. This is an exit from the ballroom from the Vista Hotel. exhaust fans, okay, and tower 2, again, 108, 75, 41, 7th floor, B6 level of 2 World Trade Center, and the K area, again, the other garage exhaust and projection fans, E is an exhaust fan, E is an exhaust fan, and here you have the fans for 5 World Trade Center, for the ninth floor, Five World Trade Center, the third floor mechanical equipment room, and the B1. The B1 mechanical equipment room is what services the concourse. Southeast Plaza building, ninth floor. Fourth floor has the second floor mechanical equipment room, and the B1 level mechanical equipment room, which services the concourse. Currently, this is all directed to the That's it. Of course, the reason the customs house is not shown here is it's completely open. We don't show the customs house, we don't show the uh, hotel. We have no control of that. Thank <laughs> you. 
how much? I'll pay for it. Okay.